Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You know, there's electricity in the air tonight. And I don't just mean the kind that's keeping the lights on. I'm talking about a current that's coursing through the very fabric of life itself. One that could very well redefine the boundaries of medicine and healing as we know it. Stick around and we might just glimpse the future together. Let me paint a picture for you. An intricate canvas where the world is not just a mechanical collection of parts, but rather a symphony of signals. Here cells whisper in voltages, tissues converse in currents, and healing is a matter orchestrated by the maestro of bioelectricity. This, my friends, is the philosophical landscape where we explore not just what is, but what could be, the remarkable potential that lies in understanding the electrical language of life. Now, what if I told you that every creature, from the smallest to the grandest, is a living, breathing circuit, humming with bioelectrical energy? And what if, by tapping into this primal energy, we could unlock secrets of regeneration that have eluded us for centuries? That's the tantalizing conundrum lighting up the minds of thinkers and dreamers in the realm of regenerative medicine. All right, let's dive in, shall we? Imagine a salamander, an unassuming creature, yet a master of one of life's most profound mysteries. Lose a limb? It'll grow a new one. Damage its heart? No problem. It regenerates. Doctor? Michael Levin, a modern-day wizard in the field of regenerative biology, looks at creatures like this and sees not just a miracle of nature, but a puzzle waiting to be solved. His toolbox? Bioelectricity, the same force that causes your heart to beat and your muscles to twitch, could very well hold the key to human regeneration. Levin's research is nothing short of revolutionary. He and his team have demonstrated that by manipulating the bioelectric code among cells, they can induce incredible regenerative abilities in creatures that don't normally possess them. Frogs regrowing lost limbs, flatworms sprouting new bodies, all from tweaking the electric signals within their cells. This isn't science fiction. It's happening right before our eyes, bridging the gap between biology and technology. Yet, as we venture deeper into this electric garden, we uncover ethical quandaries lush as any Eden's apples. Consider for a moment the power to reshape life. Healing is noble, but where do we draw the line between cure and enhancement, between restoring the body and redesigning it? It's a philosophical echo stretching back to the likes of Hippocrates and Plato, who pondered the nature of a good life and the role of medicine within it. Doctor, Levin's work begs us to ask these same questions anew, under the hum of bioelectric potentialities. History, they say, has a way of repeating itself, or at least rhyming. The quest for regeneration isn't new. Ancient myths spoke of the phoenix rising from ashes. Alchemists sought the secret to eternal youth. But here we are with science giving life to the old tales in ways our ancestors could never have dreamed. The parallels to Frankenstein's creature are unavoidable. Mary Shelley's prophetic vision of life, sparked by electricity, now dances on the edges of reality. In these historical resonances, we find warnings and wisdom both. Now let's consider this through the lens of culture. Music, with its crescendos and diminuendos, might be thought of as a flow of bioelectricity in auditory form. And in literature, we often find characters electrified by love or charged with emotion. Film, too, pulses with this energy. Just think of any scene that made your heart race. Each medium is an echo of life's bioelectric symphony, and in their reflections, we recognize our own vibrant electric essence. Levin's work is not without its contemporaries and detractors, each carrying a torch in the dense forest of debate. On one side, there's a championing of his pioneering methods as the dawn of a biomedical revolution, where incurable diseases and traumatic injuries could be relegated to history books. On the other, 
There's the trepidation that comes with tampering with nature's dials, the ethical can of worms that's inevitably pried open with every discovery that pushes against the fabric of life. All this discourse, this electric buzzing of ideas keeps the field dynamic, charged, alive. What does this mean for you and me, for society, for the future? Well, the stakes are high and the implications vast. Imagine a world where organ donors are no longer needed, where spinal injuries don't mean a lifetime in a wheelchair, where the term irreversible becomes archaic. But with great power comes great responsibility, a chorus we've heard echoed through the annals of history. Doctor, Levin's research in bioelectricity doesn't just offer solutions. It opens a Pandora's box of moral and philosophical quests that we as a species must navigate wisely. So let's pull the threads of this conversation together, forming a tapestry that's rich in possibility and ripe with inquiry. The charge of bioelectricity, the work of visionaries like Dr. Michael Levin, doesn't merely point us toward a new horizon in medicine. It illuminates the interconnectedness of life, the shared current within us all, and the profound reality that within our cells lies an ancient crackling spark of the universe's mysteries. It's here where medicine, philosophy, and wonder coalesce into something altogether extraordinary. And to you, our curious voyagers, who've listened and pondered and dreamed alongside us, I say thank you. Reflect on what it would mean to harness electricity's power, not just to light our homes, but to heal our bodies. Take that wonderment, that awe at the edge of what's known, and let it fuel your own explorations. As we part ways tonight, I leave you with a thought. We are all, in our own way, keepers of the electric flame. May it light your path, spark inspiration, and perhaps even ignite a fire that leads to healing in ways we can only imagine. Carry these currents of possibility with you, for they are as much a part of us as the very breath in our lungs. Until next time, stay curious, stay electrified. Good night.